I'm Leslie from Hammer and Stay North Shore and I want to welcome you to our DIY doormat little instructional video to help you put on your stencil onto your doormat um, and then paint it in. So, so excited. Whatever um, design you chose, it may be a smaller one because you're leaving the top or the bottom blank. It may take up the entire doormat, but putting on the stencil is usually the trickiest part. So I wanted to make sure I could walk you through that in a video. And then once you get it on and you start painting, it is super easy. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing is you did get some pins in your bag and we're gonna use these to help pin this down once we peel off the sticky part. So the first thing I want you to do is flip over your design so that you are looking at the grid paper and you no longer see your writing or your design. And we're gonna start at one corner and we are going to peel back the grid paper from the blue sticky stencil. So as you peel it back, you want to see and feel blue sticky stencil. If you start peeling it back and you see white, you are peeling back the stencil as well. So you're peeling back the grid paper. You're going to go nice and slow. This is sticky blue stencil. You want to make sure that no blue from your design comes up on your grid paper. So if you go nice and slow, you can make sure it won't. If it starts to come up, you're just gonna press back down in that spot and keep going. Okay, so once we get it, see how this over here started to come up? I'm just gonna press it back down and we're gonna keep going. So once the grid papers up, you'll notice that your design or words look backwards, that's okay. We're gonna pick it up and we are going to flip it over and place it on our doormat where we want it. Now, if your stencil takes up the whole doormat, then you should make sure you line up the tops, the sides, and the bottoms. If your stencil only takes up part of it, because maybe the writing or the design is down below, up above, or in the middle, you can decide where you want to put it. So you want to press down your stencil as best and as hard as you can. Now, these stencils do not stick great to the doormat because it's prickly, it's not a wood surface. So this is the tricky part, is that once you have it pressed down, we need to start peeling back this white tape layer and you just need to go really, really slow and I go and I peel it back nice and slow and then I usually take one of my pins and stick it in a place or two to hold it in place and then I keep peeling. Now if you have a really large design and it's intricate, this could take you a while but I promise you that peeling back this white paper and having the stencil stick enough to the doormat is the hardest part of the project. Once you get past this, painting it in is super easy um, and fun. So as I go, you can see I kind of just like hold down little pieces um, of my design and the stencil. Now the good thing is, is that let's say this little piece did come off. Because it's not completely stuck onto your doormat, you can pick it up and move it. So if little pieces move and you need to pick them up and um, move them to the correct spot, you can totally do that. So you're just gonna keep holding down as you peel, taking some of your pins and pinning it as you go to help with the process. Okay, um, if you get stuck or it gets frustrating, don't worry. Just go nice and slow and it will all come off. Okay, and it is okay that it's not stuck on like, like it does for wood. The stencil is still gonna work great 
um, when we're painting everything in. And you can just see as I peel back, I kind of hold down the stencil in certain places to help keep it in place where it goes. If you start peeling back your tape and you find it frustrating, maybe you're peeling from the top down, the bottom up, and it's just not working great, try going a different direction. I like to go left to right, um, but you can always try a different direction too. Okay, I am almost there. So again, I'm going nice and slow. I'm gonna stick a pin up here just to hold it down for me. And there we go. So this is completely now, um, the tape is peeled off. We are going to use our, either you got a yellow sponge or you got one of these black sponge um, painters. You are going to dip your paint, your paintbrush or your sponge into the paint and you are just gonna start dabbing. So you, let's say I dip this into black paint and I'm just gonna start dabbing everywhere I want that black paint to go. You're probably gonna do two to three coats of the paint, so don't worry on the first coat if you still see some of the brown from your doormat still in it. Keep going, so dip it in and just dab, dab, dab. Now, if you notice any of these little pieces that are part or the middle of a letter starting to move or come up, um, you just wanna maybe hold it as you go. So you're just gonna dab everywhere you want that color to go. If you have more than one color, use your new sponge or new paintbrush, and then you'll start back at the beginning. Um, it, like I said, it could take two to three coats of paint to get it completely done. Okay, so like I said, you are just gonna keep dabbing everywhere you go with your paintbrush or your orange sponge with your paint. Um, don't try to fill it in all at once. You can do two coats of it or three coats of it. When you're completely done, I want you to let it sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes to let it dry. Once it's dried, you can pick out your pins and you are just going to peel back your stencil to reveal your design. Now, these doormats are awesome. They are, with the paint and everything, they can go outside, they can withstand weather. I have it at my house, I have it at the studio. People walk on it all the time. Um, it will start to fade over time and um, when people are walking on it, it will fade just like any doormat does, but the paint won't run or completely wash away, so you don't have to worry about that. Can't wait to see a picture of your finished doormat. If you decide to post a picture on Facebook or Instagram, definitely tag Hammer and Stain North Shore, um, and you can also use the hashtag, hashtag, Hammer at home. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.